Down it's easy. Like I'm coming down there. Yeah, I'm 
having a rest again, Jack. This is just a curse or something during the day. A bit later than that, we get into more modern times, more into the early 19th century, and a famous visitor as a little boy was Edgar Allan Poe. The Allan part coming from the Allan family, a local family at Fairly Five Lums estate, and they virtually adopted Edgar Poe, uh, and he lived at Fairly from the ages, I think, of between four and nine. He was taken to the castle here, he was taken to Irvine and other sites throughout the Ayrshire's haunted graveyards and so on. And it's believed that this fired the imagination of Edgar Poe, uh, that later in life he wrote some very dark stories, The Raven, for example. We've got ravens in the castle. And he also wrote a story called The Pit and the Pendulum, which is probably one that most people know of. And of course we do have a pit. Don't have a pendulum in the castle, we do have a pit. Later in the 19th century, Jules Verne, the, the French writer, French writer with a Scottish mother, by the way, uh, Jules Verne wrote an essay on the works of Edgar Poe. And I just wonder, did Jules pick up on something that Edgar mentioned about Dundonald Castle? Because by the 1880s, 1890s perhaps, uh, Jules Verne wrote a book called The Underground City where he mentions that Donald Castle being the haunt of fire maidens and goblins. So perhaps he picked up on something that Poe was writing. 